Hey, greetings. This is Gary DeGrazia Sr. Thank you for tuning in to my webinar today. If you're receiving this webinar, you are on our list as being an agent that has looked at my off-market probate home free training that I'm doing for agents that are partnered with us, or you have looked at EXP Real Estate and the opportunity that is there. And we want to just give you some more information, some things that open your eyes about what you have available right to you if you take the opportunity and act upon the EXP offer that is being made to you. So what we're going to be talking about and focusing on with this webinar, and it's going to be short, going to get you out of here in about 20 minutes or so, is life after real estate sales. We're all selling real estate. I've been doing it for 44 years. I came over to EXP four years ago in 2014. So 40 years, I was doing everything that you're doing right now, chasing es escrows basically, but did it all. And it wasn't until I turned 64 that I realized through a health scare that I better do something different because as I approached 70 in a few short years, uh, I didn't think that I was going to be able to keep the pace of to keep my income where it's been for most of my real estate career and the lifestyle that my family and myself has enjoyed from that income. And I, for one, did not want to work 40 years and have to scale back my lifestyle when I retired, semi-retired, or whatever. And this life after sales could be for any reason. It could be you just want to slow down because you're up in age. It could be health reasons. It could be accident injury reason. It could be you know, God forbid, death. And we really need to think about this because I started a real estate business at 24 years of age and I'm 68 right now. And I didn't come across the CXB opportunity and act on it until I was 64, four years ago. But since I've done that, I was able to retire, semi-retire in 2016. I'll never fully quit. But I was able to get out of the, you know, every day, uh, in the trenches, chasing sales. So I was able to get out of that because the opportunity that I took advantage of took care of all of my monthly fixed in, uh, expenses for my family. So I was able to spend the time where I wanted to, which was back into more training on teaching probate real estate, off-market probate real estate, helping agents do the same thing and acquiring uh, family generational wealth through their hard work in their real estate business. So this has been a wonderful time for me the last couple of years. We took 2017 off. I relocated a family all out of the Bay Area to the Central Valley. And then I came back working in 2018 with my son to build more family generational wealth. And a twist in my probate training that I had been doing since 1992, teaching agents and investors how to add off-market probate homes. I am now training for free. This is your opportunity. I will help you increase your real estate production as an agent or help you find more properties as an investor. You do not have to pay the 1500 that I was charging agents and investors up till January 1st, 2018, because I'm now doing it for free. I'm looking for more deals through networking with other agents and we split these deals. I'm also looking for agents that see the value of EXP and want to come aboard. So let's talk a little bit more about that, okay? This will truly be worth your while, so sit through it with me. Again, for you that need a refresher, Gary DeGrazia Sr. I was with Remax for about 12, 13 years before I came over to EXP. Been a top producer, Hall of Fame agent at Remax and EXP. Closed over Closer to 600 probate properties now. I've taught over 4,000 agents and investors across the United States on how to do off-market probates. I also offered a number one best-selling real estate book, uh, Diamond Farming Probate Real Estate, back in 1992. So what I like to talk about is to open your eyes. Let's talk about real estate agents in the United States. How many are there? Well, according to NAR, there's 1.3 of us realtors running around. And that's up for 1.2 million back in 2017. So on the increase, how much does a real estate agent make? So right now, the medium income for an agent nationally now is a little over $46,000 a year. To me, that's basically not even a good paying job, but it's okay because 
in some areas, not in California or SoCal or the hotter, more expensive areas, that could be a good income uh, in a lot less cost of living atmosphere. Uh, but it's still kind of low as far as a good paying job would be considered, right? The median income now for California agents that are working 60 plus hours a week is 87000 So that's up and that's a good paying job. If you're making $87,000 a year in your job, that's a decent job. If you and your spouse or, or friend, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it may be, are working together and you're both doing that, that's a pretty good income for you, okay? Uh, and then, of course, in California, 21% of us realtors make 100000 or more. That's full-time with a plan of action, maybe some assistance, whatever. And top producers are making 300000 plus. So the average income for realtors based on experience, time in the business, is from zero to five years, roughly that 46000 national average. Six to 10 years in the business would be around 60000 11 to 20 years in the business, 62000 And 21 years or more... 75000 a year. And of course, on our top producers, there'll be anywhere from 100000 on up and 300000 and our mega agents, 500000 and more. Uh, and there's many of those at EXP Real Estate. They're there. They're on a whole different level. They have teams, buyer's assistants, uh, listing assistants, uh, just a whole other level for all of us. But what I like to talk about is wherever you fall in that graph, from 46,000 plus up to 300,000 or more. The question I like to pose to agents when I'm speaking is, what if that 46,000 to 300, whatever it was for you, went away today? What would your financial picture look like? What would this do to your family's lifestyle or your own? How long could you last without this income? Yeah, you might be making 46,000 a year. Maybe your husband or your wife is working you know, make it another forty, fifty, sixty thousand a year, or you have some social security coming in, or some type of retirement passive income. That's all great. You're you're enjoying whatever lifestyle that brings. But if your real estate income, life after sales, goes away today, where would you be? Okay. So a lot of agents, when I post this question, and I'm out and about talking at meetup groups about off market probate real estate. I always like to post a question. What is your plan for life after real estate sales? Because it's all going to come to every one of you. I don't care if you're 25 today or if you're 64. It's coming. Okay. And the common response I would hear is, well, I'm in the real estate business, Gary. I'm going to build rental homes, passive income down the road and going to live off that passive income. And I say, well, fantastic. Tell me, how long have you been in a real estate business? How many homes do you own right now? And what, what's the passive income look like? Typically, for one year or less in the business, zero. They haven't, they haven't bought a house. They haven't been able to. If they've been around five years, maybe one property. Ten years, maybe three. Twenty years, maybe ten. Well, that's tough to build a fixed expense income earner that takes care of all those needs for you when you have to, you can only buy a house every five years or so, okay? So what I tell them is when I'm speaking to them and they say, yeah, I've been in the business one year, okay, and I say, well, good luck buying a rental property. I am not, I don't want to be mean or too blunt with you, but really, when you see the breakdown of what it costs to get into a rental home and you're just one year in the business, good luck in buying one 2019. If they're five years already in the business, I tell them, okay, so the next five years, you're going to buy maybe one home. You're going to have a $500 positive or so, plus or minus. That's good. That can make a good car payment, help offset kids' schools, pay your utilities or whatever. But it's really not going to make a change in your retirement or semi-retirement. Ten years, uh, maybe you're able to buy three homes over the next ten years. You're starting out now. Okay, well, $1,500 a month. Not bad. Maybe that'll cover your mortgage, your rent, whatever it may be, but most likely it won't. And it sure won't probably take care of all of your monthly fixed uh, expenses. So you're going to have to do something else, right? And 20 years in the business, 10 homes, 500, uh, 5,000 a month coming in. That could be something that could help you. Most likely in 20 years, what 5,000 buys in year one a month is not going to be anywhere what is needed in year 20. So think about that, okay? So what we're going to teach you is how to have the income 
off of owning a bunch of homes without having the acquisition of buying those homes, all right? And that's the opportunity with EXP that we're hoping that you will see the value. So let's say that the average price we're going to talk about is buying a rental. Just see how, how realistic it is for you is $300,000 across the board. Even though the average price home in the U.S. is two fifty five, we're rounding up to three hundred. dollars We're in the Bay Area, right? So breakdown today to buy a home, a rental, not owner occupied, you're going to have to pay 20 to 25% down. Let's use 20. So that's 60 grand. You're going to have a monthly PITI, that's principal interest tax and insurance payment of a little over 1600. And the monthly rent's going to bring in around 2100. We're in the Bay Area, high rents. That's going to give you a passive income of about $400 for that house. So you pay, you had to save up 60,000 to buy that one house, it's going to give you $400 a month positive, okay? So my question is, how are you saving that 60000 if you're living on national average 46000 to the California average of 87000 How are you saving that $60,000? How long is it going to take you? And then if you add in what you're paying right now to your brokers, that could be anywhere from 50% depending on what split you're on. If you're on a 90-10, okay, you're getting 90%, you're paying them 10%, but you still have a lot of fees. You have your desk fees, franchise fees, royalty fees, maybe all of those together. You're going to have your MLS costs, your advertising, CRM costs, tech tools, and of course, you're going to have to pay Uncle Sam. So in that forty six to 87000 a year, how are you going to save sixty grand? Well, if you could just save... 10,000 to 20,000 depending on whether you were 46,000 a year to 87 okay then you're going to have to have so many years just to get one home at 60,000 down payment that's going to be from 3 to 6 years if you're saving 20,000 a year you're going to need 3 years so if you want 10 homes that's going to be 30 years and if you can only save 10,000 a year you're going to need six years to do that. And for 10 homes, that means 60 years. So if you're 40 right now, 60 years is not going to help you out, right? You'll be 100 years old before that goes. Probably not going to happen. Even if you're in your 25 right now, you'd be 85 when you start enjoying that, okay? There's a better way to go. We'll get to it in a minute because it's sitting right here at your fingertips. You just haven't take it taking the action yet so let's look at monthly expenses and we're almost done with this let's say we're going to uh, use as a monthly fixed expenses now four grand a month four thousand that's your house or your rent payment utilities insurance expenses your medical your food your car payments now, it doesn't include school tuition for the kids entertainment christmas birthdays vacations any miscellaneous expenses that come up that's a lot four thousand per month now you want ten homes so that's 600000 in down payments. If you're trying to buy 10 $300,000 homes and you need 60000 for each one, that's a lot of money. So how many homes will you need to cover your monthly fixed expenses? Well, based on our $4,000 uh, a month sample fixed expenses, you're going to need 10 homes. And if your fixed monthly is $5,000, you are going to need 12, 12 plus. And if you're at 10000 fixed monthly expense, you're going to need 25 homes. That is crazy, okay? Very crazy. So saving ten thousand a year, six years, that's sixty thousand uh, dollars for for one home. That means sixty years for ten homes, like I said. And if you're saving twenty thousand a year, uh, three years for one house and have the sixty k down payment, that means you're going to need thirty years, okay? How realistic is this for you? Okay, there is a better way, and the better way is taking advantage of what EXP is giving us. That's why I left Remax Hall of Fame status and came over. It wasn't about making more money in my real estate business, it was about using my real estate business to set up my retirement and to help my family with generational wealth. And that's what I want you to think about right now. I think it's not about chasing escrows, okay? Of course, you have to sell real estate and you got to do that, but we're going to help you with that and help your production grow by you partnering with us. Now, the opportunity at EXP allows us to share the company with any agents that we come in contact with 
and usually that will be from doing business, closing escrows, social contacts, MLS, going to open houses, our sphere of influence with agents we've known as long as we've been in the business. And for every agent that we sponsor into the company, I do not say recruit, just sponsoring them, we're going to be paid a percentage of their gross income every year that the company pays us. Because as you know, you've seen the EXP presentation, we're all on 80-20 split. So out of that 20% split that the company will receive every time we do a deal until you cap, we're going to receive 3.5% of that gross. So you're not paying it out of your 80%. The company is paying it out of their 20 Now the facts are every agent that we sponsor in is worth about $1,000 a year to us in income. And those are agents that are just doing three deals, four deals a year. And for those agents that are capping that we help bring over to the company and sponsor, those that are doing 80000 minimum or more, at $80,000, we are going to make $3,000 paid by the company to us for those agents. And at EXP, about 20% of the agents are cappers, and the other 80% are somewhere between three, four, five deals a year. So, what we like to use as an example is if you sponsor 10 agents over the next five years, that's basically one every six months, those 10 agents, we're going to help do the same thing. They're going to sponsor 10. And then those 10, the, se the second level 10 of yours, we're going to help them do their turn. So over three levels, you're going to have three agents in there. You basically just brought in the first 10. And with our help, we did all the work, as you will see later on. Now, what your position would be is out of those 30 agents, the 24 that were just doing a handful of deals a year, you're going to make 24000 from basically just three deals a year, okay? And out of the rest of the agents of the 30 to 6 that are capping agents, they're grossing 80000 each, you're making 18000 for a total of 42000 This is side income that comes to your mailbox on the 20th of every month for all the deals that your downline closed the prior 30 days. You're paid a check. I've been getting checks now for three and a half, for almost four years. On the 21st of every month, a check is automatically deposited. Unbelievable, especially when you can semi-retire off of it. So at 42000 if you were just an agent right now making the national average of basically 46000 you almost would double your income over this five-year period just helping one agent take a look at EXP every six months. So you think that's harder to do? than finding a seller to list with you or a buyer to buy through you? It's not. You're just talking to the agents about a better way to do our business, okay? And if you're a California agent, you're making 87000 average a year. You just gave yourself a 50% raise. This is why we're so excited about this business and why I've been doing this now for four years. Now, what we really like to teach agents as they come on board is say, look at our goal with you is to get you working for free for the $16,000 cap you're going to pay if you gross $80,000 a year. The cap is based on your gross. So if you only made forty grand, you would only pay eight to the company. It's 20%. But we want you to be able to pay that, uh, that uh, 16000 cap because we're going to help you gross 80. And what we're going to do is we're going to help you sponsor in six agents on your front line. And then we're going to do the same thing for those six agents that you brought in. We are going to help them do six agents while you're out chasing escrows. We're going to do that, our mastermind group. And then those second six that we sponsored under you uh, on your second line, we're going to help them do the same thing. So you're going to have a total of three levels down, six agents, and then 36, and then those 36 times six. That works out to be 258 agents. And we're going to say it's in the same five-year period, although you could do it much sooner. So out of those 258 agents, 207 of those would be making you, on average, $1,000 per year. That's 207000 in rev share. And then 20% of the 258 would be cappers. That's roughly 51 agents would be bringing you in 3000 each a year if they cap. And that's the percentage that caps, 2 out of 10, okay? This is a potential 460000 
income for you, sponsoring just two agents per year for five years. You're vested in three years. Now, I say two over five, that's ten. So this could actually be done in three years, okay? Well, not a lot of effort on your part. You're vested in three years, uh, which means that once you're with the company for three years, whatever your rev share income is, it stays with you now for life. You can quit selling tomorrow, quit EXP tomorrow, and if you're vested, it stays with you and it still grows. I'm vested now. Wherever I go, whatever I do, if I quit selling, if I leave EXP, my rev share stays the same and it can grow because my downline would be growing. Now this right here, this program based on six who sponsor six who sponsor six is 100 times more income to you than owning 10 rental homes with a $450 passive income. Now don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with real estate. It's the greatest wealth tool that I've ever seen in my 40 plus years of doing real estate. The difference is today, it's just too tough to do for the average guy making the average income. You're making 300,000 plus a year, you could probably save enough to buy a rental property every year or two and still live a decent and pay all your expenses and Uncle Sam. But the average realtor is making either 46,000 across the board US or 87 in California. How do they do it? You can't. Isn't it much better to have the income that those 10 homes would pay you without the expense of saving up 600000 down payment, the property management, the headaches, uh, the leaky faucets, and the calls late at night to come over, the tenants tearing up the house, in and out, vacancies, things like that. That's what comes with passive income, you know, heaven, okay? I have a buddy of mine right now. We just celebrated New Year's together. He owns, you know, five or six Homes paid off for it, and he did over his real estate career, but he started in the 70s, and he has had nothing but problems with it. He's in his about his third or fourth lawsuit right now, a big one. It's going to cost him probably 30, 40 grand, and he really did nothing wrong. Uh, he's got nothing but headaches, but he's got that cash coming in every month. That's what he lives on, but the guy is a nervous wreck most of the time. Wouldn't it make more sense to work a little bit smarter and have the passive income, but without all the headaches of the real estate, okay? All right, that's all we're saying here. This is the opportunity if you really take a look hard at what we've sent you on eXp. Now, we know it's not for everybody, and we're not looking for everybody. We're really not interested in agents coming over just to be escrow chasers only. I mean, I would say do it if that's what you want, because... You'll get more split, you'll have lower costs, more tools, you get in the stock program, you can build yourself a great nest egg just from that. But we're talking about setting up a rev share for you. Now the way we do this, as you know, is we teach off-market probate home. That's how we build our warm market with agents. We don't go cold calling to agents and say, hey, come on over to EXP, it's a better company. We could. All the other brokerage houses in town, that's all they do is call each other's agents all day long. A lot of them have paid salary recruiters on their staff. And all they're doing is trying to steal each other's agents, you know, every day for a little bit more commission or a little less expenses. We are different at EXP. We're looking for those agents that see this value, what they can build, be their own retirement program, not their broker's retirement program. And that's what you are now. If you're working for a broker, that you don't own a piece of that business. And three questions I always tell agents to ask their broker when you're thinking about this is, broker, will you give me a piece of the company every time I close an escrow? Will you give me rev share, monthly rev share, invested in three years for life? based on the gross commissions of the agents that I bring in over to the company that go to work for you. And number three, will you give me the best CRMs in the, in the country right now, which is KV Core and or Cash Inc., would you give me those for free? Those typically cost 6000 18000 a year. They're not going to be able to match that. But that's not why we want you just to come over because you can get a little cheaper and a better commission. We want you to see the value. And my platform is bringing agents over and helping them increase their production 
by teaching you off-market probate homes, wherever you may be in the country, and I'm not going to charge you anything. Then, once we train you, and it's all done by webinars, you can learn on your own when you want to, in the comfort of your own. Once you're done with that, we're going to put you on a lead program to show you how to make appointments, and then when you do land an appointment, we are going to go with you on that appointment or one of my agents, wherever you may be. We're in four states now I'm on my team. We're in uh, California. We're in Nevada. We're in Minnesota. We're in New York. Excuse me, five states. We're in Florida. And we're getting ready to go into Arizona. So possibly there's somebody close to you that could work that deal with you or I do everything with you online. And I stay with you in your first three deals or whatever you need. We split it 50-50, whatever that commission is in that deal. That's how I get paid for my time. I don't have to sell houses anymore. That helps you build the business. Your production increases will help you build a rev share program. And all we want is to get you six front lines so you're working for free. And then we go from there. Okay? So what I want you to do, if you have interest in this, I want you to call me. I know you've been receiving a lot of information from Gary Jr. Gary spends full time on helping agents realize and answer their questions and, and, and give them what they need to make a good value judgment on if this move to EXP is for them. You know, well, there'll be some qualifications we want to know about what you're doing with your business right now. So we want to have a conversation with you. Call me. We'll schedule a 15-minute uh, uh, appointment. We'll ask you some questions, answer anything that you still may need that you haven't received already from us, or just email me. I say, Gary, I really like this. I want to talk more about going to EXP. I have your training. I like it. Or, hey, I've, I've seen your entry, five ways we make money with probate homes, and I want to now take the foundation course, those three sessions. I want to learn. I want to add it to my business in 2019. I'm not sure yet about EXP. I want to feel that out get some more information, but I do want to get moving on probate. That's fine. Let's get together with that. Take the training while it's free. It won't be free forever, folks. We're building something here, and this is what we're doing. For those agents that come in on our lines in the early beginning of doing this, everything is free for you, and that's ongoing education as well. Okay, so you now have your action plan. Just text me or email me what you want to do, and if we don't hear from you at all, you continue to receive things from Gary Jr. as we are updated on new things with EXP. But, you know, remember, life after sales. Don't spend all of your time chasing escrows because someday when that's over, you're going to find yourself probably in, in a tough situation trying to recoup the income that you had while you were hard, working hard. And that could be that 46000 a year or 300000 a year or whatever it may be. Do it now while you have the time to set it up. Three to five years is all you need if you do it. We're doing most of this with you. We don't do it for you, but we do it with you. Building your rev share, we show you how to invite agents to come and hear about probate real estate and the free training we offer. Then from there, after a, a warm relationship has been made between us and that agent learning probate, and hopefully we're doing some deals, then we're going to expose them to the opportunity with EXP. And if they come over because you're the one to introduce them, that will be your agent on your rev share line. Okay? So Happy New Year to you. I hope you take advantage of this. Bye-bye.